Hello everyone and welcome back to the breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to get a mini map in Minecraft 1.15.2. We're going to be going over every single step of getting a mini map in 1.15.2 from downloading it to installing it to everything in between. It's all going to be covered in this video. Specifically, we're going to be installing Xero's mini map in Minecraft 1.15.2. This is a really cool mini map mod. It allows you to pull up a little, you know, expand your map on screen easily. It's got a ton of different configuration options. You can set waypoints. You can do all that awesome stuff. And I'm going to show you how to do that once we get the mod installed later in this video. First of all, though, we do have a more sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex to get an incredible 24-hour DNS directed Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love Apex Minecraft Hosting so much that we host our own server, play.breakdowncraft.com on them. So again, if you were looking for a great Minecraft server for you and your friends to love and enjoy, check out Apex at the first link down below, the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump right on into this. So the first thing we need to do to get Xero's minimap installed is, well, download Xero's minimap, right? So to do that, you're going to go to the second link down below. That's going to take you here. This is actually our in-depth tutorial on downloading and, in and installing Xero's minimap. It goes over everything in text format. So if I go, you know, too fast, too slow here, something like that, well, then guess what? You can go through it at your own pace on this text tutorial. However, if you're following along with the video, just come to this page and then click on this yellow download Xero's minimap button. So go ahead and click on that. And it's going to take us here to Xero's minimap. And then from there, we can go ahead and on the right hand side, scroll down until we see this 1.15 section. Under that, we're going to go ahead and click on that purple download button under that version. And just to confirm, we can see that it says for Minecraft 1.15.2. That means we are, in fact, downloading the correct version there. And then we can click that purple download button to the right of that. That's then going to take us off to the download page where we do have to wait five seconds. And in these five seconds, we're just, just going to wait. There's nothing really. And then there we go. So there it is. And then in the bottom left, we can see Xero's minimap has downloaded. Now, you will need to keep this file on Google Chrome. So in the bottom left, just click that keep button. Now, Mozilla Firefox is going to pop in the of your screen and ask you to save the file, you do need to save the file in order to get that set up. From there, let's go ahead and move on to Forge. So you do need to download and install Forge in order to get Xero's minimap. Now we're going to be showing you this in this video. So to do that, go to the third link down below and it's going to take you here. This is of course our Forge tutorial and it's going to be a text tutorial just like our Xero minimap one, but for Forge, if I go too fast on any of the Forge processes or maybe you like, this isn't working, this troubleshoots a lot of different issues you could have. So come here and go through this text tutorial. However, once you're here, you just want to click on this green download Forge button. That will then go ahead and take us off to Forge's official website here where we want to make sure the Minecraft 1.15.2 version is selected. So as you can see, MC 1.15.2 is selected right there. If this isn't right here, no worries. Come over here to the left-hand sidebar, click on 1.15, and then click on 1.15.2. Then you'll see MC 1.15.2 up here, here, and you're good to go. What we want to do is come under Download Latest and then click on the Installer button here. Once we go on the install button, it's going to take us up to add focus. We're, wait, don't click anything on this page. No, don't click OK. Don't do it. Don't click OK. Don't do anything like that. Don't click anything. Don't click the down. Don't click anything. All you want to do on this page is click the red skip button in the top right. Now, as you can see, it's actually saying that updates recommended. You have to click OK here, right? It's a pop down. What you actually want to do, if that's the case, close out of it, right? And then come back to our website, click on Download Forge, and then click on the Download Latest again. Do not click anything on this page except the top right button up there. Now, in this case, it did make me click the OK button. It's fine, but what I will say is if anything downloads from here other than a file named Forge, right? It should have Forge in the title of the file you download. Don't download it, right? So, for example, right now, if we click this red skip button in the top right, it downloads in the bottom left here, we will see that it says Forge 1.15.2 at the beginning of the file. If you're on Mozilla Firefox, I'll pop in the super screen and say Forge 1.15.2. If any other file downloads that says one dot, that other than Forge 1.15.2, do not open it, right? Do not download it. Do not do anything. If you can discard the file, you, you want to do that unless it says Forge 1.15.2 in the title. Now, ours does here in the bottom left, so we are good to keep the file. I'm going to sell Firefox in the server screen. As long as it says Forge in the title, you're safe to download it. I hate that Forge has to use this to support their development, but the Forge developers are full-time. They do work on Forge full-time, and this is the only way that they can do that sustainably. So I do respect that, but it is one of those things. I would recommend never clicking anything on this page. We did have to click that OK button on the top to be able to get to the download, but it's not something I would like to do. But if you have to do that, you have to do that. But if anything downloads other than a file named Forge 1.15.2 with, you know, like other stuff after it, but it should say Forge in the title. If it does, you're safe to download. Otherwise, do not download it. Nevertheless, we can now finally minimize our browser. In our desktop, we have X0's minimap, and then we have Forge. I also have this, like, 
download file, basically. That's just there until the download finishes. But nevertheless, if these aren't your desktop, no worries. They're going to be in your downloads folder. And to find your downloads folder, click on the little Windows icon. It's in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen, but the little top or bottom left of your screen. Click on that and then type in downloads. And then have this downloads file folder in Windows here. Click on that. And then in here, you will find Xero's Minimap and Forge. Drag that to your desktop just for ease of use. Now we can go ahead and start off by installing Forge. To do this, you want to right click on it, click on Open With, click on Java TM Platform SE Binary, and click OK. But Nick, what if I don't have Java TM Platform SE Binary? Or what if I do and I click it and it doesn't work? Or what if these don't even look like this? What if they don't have like the Java Coffee Cup logo and instead they have like books or they're a zip folder? Well, no worries, we have a solution for you. If you go to the description down below, you'll find our in depth tutorial on how to download and install mods for, or not mods, how to download and install Java for Minecraft mods. And that's going to allow you to get the correct mod that you need to run Forge. Now, here's the thing if you have the correct version of Java to run Forge, right? already and it's still not working so you go through this tutorial and it's still not working what do you do well you run the jar fix and basically what this is going to do is make all the jar files on your computer work with java once again right so it's going to take all those jar files make them work with java and you're good to go now once you've downloaded and installed java and then ran the jar fix you can finally right click on forge click on open with click on java tm platform sc binary and click ok now what we want to do is click on install client and click OK. It's now going to download, do everything it needs to do to get Forge installed in Minecraft 1.15.2. It's going to download the files, put them into Minecraft, patch them in its own jar file, do everything that it has to do in order to get Forge up and running in Minecraft. Then it will, success, then it will say, excuse me, successfully installed client profile Forge for version 1.15.2. Click OK there. Now it's time to install Xero's minimap. To do that, we need to open up Minecraft. So let's go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher here. So we open up Minecraft here. And then from here, what we want to do is click the little arrow to the left of the play button and then click on Forge. However, if you don't have a Forge profile or if you do have a Forge profile and it doesn't say 1.15.2-Forge under it, what do you do? Well, no worries. We have a solution for you. Go to the installations tab up here at the top of your screen. And then from there, we want to go ahead and click on this plus new button. And then once we click on this plus new button, we can name it we will, whatever we want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why am I naming it that? Because that is our incredible network Minecraft server. We have two incredible grief protected survival servers, Medieval Survival with over 30 custom quests and a player based economy and Aquatic Survival with a slash shop based economy and just an incredible community. And then we do have our custom Skyblock server as well with OP enchants, custom islands, tons of awesome stuff, 1.8 PvP, and we also have factions coming soon. So come play with us, play.breakdowncraft.com com is the IP. It is really the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. I guarantee it. You will love it. So nevertheless, once you've got your name there, go ahead and click on this version drop down box. And then under this, you want to click release 1.15.2-Forge. Now, yours may be down the page a little bit or something like that, but here mine is at the top, 1.15.2-Forge. Click on that, and then you want to go ahead and if you want to change your resolution, I am, and then click on create. Now, at the bottom down here, we have this new play.breakdowncraft.com profile, and as you can see, there's a green play button next to it. Click on that green play button, and now it's going to open up Minecraft 1.15.2 with Forge installed. But we still need to install Xero's minimap, so after Forge is open here, we'll be able to get Xero's minimap installed. Used to, you would have to like open up you know, your run folder and all, just so much different stuff. Now you don't have to do that. Now you just have to launch Forge, click on a few buttons, and it's done, right? Simple as that. Now I do notice that Minecraft started minimized there, but here we are. As you can see, Forge is in the bottom left. We also have this Mods tab, and that's actually where we want to start. We want to click on this Mods tab here, and then in this Mods tab, we can click in the bottom left, the Open Mods folder. See that? Click on Open Mods folder there. Boom! Here is our Minecraft Mods folder. Now all we need to do to install Xero's minimap in Minecraft 1.15.2 is take Xero's minimap from our desktop and drag it into our mods folder. Now, if we go back to Minecraft, it's not there. And that's because we need to click done and then quick game. Now we need to open up the Minecraft launcher again, right? Open up the Minecraft launcher again. This time it should automatically have selected the Forge profile for you. It should say 1.15.2-Forge under here. If it does, click on that green play button. If it doesn't, just select the profile that does say that. And then it'll open up Minecraft. And as you can see, Xero's minimap Forge 1.15.2 has loaded right there. Completed a deep scan. And that means basically recognize it. It's done everything it needs to do to open it. And it's going to open up Minecraft now. So pretty cool stuff there. You now have Xero's minimap in Minecraft 1.15.2. So if we come in here to the mods tab, we will see right there it is, Xero's minimap. And then if we jump on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com. We will be able to see the minimap there. So we're actually going to check out our new aquatic spawn. It's kind of still in the works. We have been redoing this spawn kind of live on the server, which is kind of cool. The community's been involved in it. It's awesome. But nevertheless, actually, we are in medieval survival right now. 
But um, let's go ahead and jump over to Aquatic Survival real quick. Slash server, Aquatic Survival. And we have our new spawn here. A little house on top of spawn. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Turn on fly. You can actually purchase fly on Breakdown Craft with the Emerald rank or separately. But nevertheless, we get to see up here in the top right the mini map, right? That mini map is up there. It is generating. We can see all of that spawn. And then what's really cool is if we go ahead and click disconnect, or not disconnect, sorry, if we click escape and then go into options, we can go into controls and see all of the different, you know, things that this mini map has, right? Here are all the different stuff. So as you can see, if we hit Z, it's going to go ahead and open up the mini map. Zoom is I, zoom out is O, settings is Y, you know, all of that stuff. So let's go ahead real quick and let's zoom in so we can press Z to zoom in or specifically we can press like I to zoom in on the mini map there and then Z to make it larger, right? O to zoom out, right? Zoom out as far as we want there and I to zoom in. So pretty cool stuff. And then if we want to see the settings, we can do Y. Now from here, you can do many things. You can turn the mini map on and off. You can change what the zoom is, you know, via that as well. You can change your entity radar, what entities are turned on, what entities are turned off. You can change your cave map, you know, one by one roof and how maps and caves are working. You can turn the chunk grid on and off over here. So if we go ahead and turn it on like dark green, we'll be able to see, you can now see chunks in your mini map there. See, that's pretty cool. But Let's say we wanted to turn that back off. We come in here and click. You have to click a bit to get back to the off. There we go. Come on. Boom. There it is. We can turn on slime chunks. It's pretty cool. And then and last but not least, we can see all of this over here. All that. I mean, there's so much stuff here. There's no way I can go through it all. But I did want to mention waypoints. So there's a few ways to set waypoints. One is by hitting Y on your keyboard and then clicking on waypoints. Then we can add a new waypoint in here. So for example, if we wanted to name this waypoint spawn, we could. And then we can change it to a green color and then click confirm. So now we have this spawn waypoint. As you can see, there it is. And if we go over here, that spawn waypoint is going to stay there. I mean, there is the spawn waypoint. Now, I believe if we go into settings here, there actually are some waypoint options. So we can change you know, different things about waypoints and how they all work and everything like that. So that's pretty cool. And then we also have, if we come back here, more waypoint options. So in-game waypoints can be turned off, on and off. And then if we look on our mini map here, we can see that that spawn, right, that S right there, is in fact on our mini map. And you can turn that on and off in your settings right here as well. So there is so many different things. And as you can see, different waypoint stuff here, like all of this is, you know, basically in regards to waypoints. So awesome stuff there, tons and tons of features in this mini map and uh, absolutely awesome. So there you have it. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below. Come play with us on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse, play.breakdowncraft.com. Over 132 people online right now. Again, we have incredible medieval survival with a player-based economy and over 30 custom quests. And then we do have this server, which is Aquatic Survival. This is your slash shop-based economy. And then we also have Skyblock, which is, of course, the Skyblock server with a slash shop-based economy, custom islands, OP enchants, 1.8 PvP, custom challenges. It is absolutely awesome. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP, and I cannot wait to see you online. Nevertheless, my name is Nick. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week, and I am out. Peace.